Just your take on the situation in the region right now. You really do get the sense that what we're seeing here is markets on edge as these geopolitical tensions continue to intensify. Yes, good morning, Dan. Thank you for having me on. It's, uh, it's always a pleasure. As you say, it's, it's, fragi it's fragility, I think, is the, uh, is the uh, overarching sentiment to, to the market here. Uh, really wanting to see what the reaction will be uh, of Israel to, uh, to, the, to the strikes by Iran uh, fr from Iran the other day. Um, at the moment, we've had a fairly muted reaction, as you, as you say, uh, with Brent up at sort of 74, 74, 70, that's what, 1.3% higher over the past month or whatever. There's no sign of uh, capitulation from investors, but clearly we have had a softer bias to risk over the last couple of days. And I think that's the way we'll continue to position uh, with, uh, with elevated volatility levels as, as seen in the, you know, the VIX in the US, which is up at not the all time highs, but uh, sort of off the, off the recent lows, should I say, as, as one would expect. Indeed, and staying in the region as well, quite a fascinating report in the Wall Street Journal overnight that's been firmly rebuffed by OPEC and the Saudi energy minister. The energy minister rejecting this report that claimed he said oil prices would drop to $50 a barrel if OPEC members don't stick to their agreed upon production limits. I want your take on what all of this means for the oil price outlook and the dynamic within OPEC. You really do also get the sense here that there is some perhaps confusion, maybe even concern that oil prices haven't necessarily continued their march higher, now lingering at around this 70 USD handle. Yeah, well, we see the, you know, obviously there's upside to the oil price in the short term from the geopolitical aspect, and uh, that could, you know, if they were to get a, you know, marked deterioration in, uh, in in the geopolitical narrative, should I say, then, you know, we look for it to go hard. We look for a, to a marginally softer oil price uh, next year. Um, but again, that will be, uh, you know, a combination of geopolitics, OPEC+, plus. Uh, negotiations, etc., um, as we move from 24 into 25.